with Pakistan um, that it was always a state, never a nation. Mm -hmm. And the interesting question is that India, Pakistan's giant neighbor from which it was carved out, never had that problem mm -hmm. that you have many different nationalities, 36 different languages spoken in India, if not more. But yet if you ask many Indians what their nationality is, they say Indian. Uh, they say I'm from South India or North India, but they're Indians. Pakistan never quite succeeded in doing that. Um, and one reason was that it was, uh, you know, it was cursed with an incredibly corrupt and greedy elite, mm -hmm. largely composed of visionless people who were ba basically into making money. Initially, small amounts of money, but as years went on, large amounts of money. And so politics became in, enmeshed with building personal fortunes, which mm. is a big, was a big tragedy for the mm. country. Um, and secondly, the Pakistani elite never permitted serious land reforms. Mm. The Indians pushed through land reforms, ended the power of big landlords. Pakistan never did that. So there was always a feeling of ambiguity towards the country and its apparatus from lots of ordinary people in all the different parts of Pakistan. Mm -hmm. And after the breakup of Pakistan, well, the basic idea on which it had been built of uniting the Muslims of the Indian subcontinent no longer existed. Mm -hmm. It was dead and gone and buried. So what was the new state going to be? That mm -hmm. was the big question. Mm -hmm. And Benazir Bhutto's father, Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, did dream about making it a modern social democratic state, but he could never deliver that. And then he was dumped on Kissinger's orders. And uh, we had the worst military dictatorship in our history, which further weakened uh, the state and its hold over the population.